Hot Milk by Deborah Levy is a novel about summer that feels like summer. Like a heat wave, like a memory or a dream. It's slightly unreal but honest. It's like falling in love or lust or desire. It's full of heightened emotions and introspection. And watching the world through looking at oneself. This in part is caused by the first person narration. And this first person narration feels almost like an unreliable narrator, not because you think she's holding stuff back, but insofar as the characters, and there are many characters who are looked at in detail, are as she sees them, and they're tainted by her own thoughts and expectations. Sophia, the protagonist, begins the novel in Almeria, in Spain, with her mother. She's considering doing a PhD, but she's currently an out-of-work anthropologist. Her mother is ill, with many ailments, that doctors can't seem to pinpoint. And so Sophie is... Experiencing a change in her life without really feeling like her life is going anywhere. She feels stagnant despite having travelled from London to Spain. The first person narration has a train of consciousness type feel to it and some passages almost seem to be in present tense there are digressions and memories within the story and these digressions follow the theme that the whole or the themes that the whole novel follow and these themes are family bonds and the feeling of responsibility Sophie almost feels like her mother is her job especially being an anthropologist, she finds ways to almost rationalise the things she's doing for her mother and not doing for her own interests and career by acting as though she is watching people. And she's always watching people. And this is very interesting considering the fact that at the beginning of some chapters you get the distinct feeling that somebody is watching her so she is described as a person by by other characters within the novel and by herself as somebody who watches other people and yet you have this distinct impression that somebody is watching her and it's a very interesting way of framing it. The novel also discusses ageing and love and loss. And and how different generations interact with each other and how parents can have an impact on you in your adulthood. Whether them still being alive impacting you directly or the memories that you have of them in your childhood impact you. I really loved this book and I found it very interesting. There was a lot to talk about and a lot to think about and the ending is left a little ambiguous and it's really fantastically written.
I could thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it. I post new videos every Tuesday, so please subscribe and hit the notification in case I post on another day. Um, in the description box below, I'll have all the materials I've used, plus my Instagram, my Etsy, and my Patreon. I would really like for you to support me in as many ways as you can. And to keep watching my videos because I enjoy interacting with viewers and people with similar interests to me. Please let me know if there's a book that you think I should read, something that you think I should do a video on. Um, if you have any other ideas, anything that you're interested in. I don't have to do, just do videos about books or, and I don't just have to do videos in which I paint. Let me know in the, in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.